When the original Rail Freight Today series first appeared in 1989, it created a sensation. Never before or since has anyone looked in such detail at the rail freight scene. Over the last 20 years, rail freight has changed out of all recognition. Many traffic flows have been lost or have had to be adapted as customers have responded to changing demands. Locomotives, liveries and rail companies have come and gone and these unique views now form part of an important historic record. Originally, each part of the UK was looked at regionally. However, this brand new series, featuring a carefully chosen selection of material from the complete Rail Freight Today series, will concentrate on providing a complete overview of traffic flows by type. With the benefit of passing time, it's now possible to evaluate all the most important changes, probably nowhere more marked than in the transport of coal by rail. As we shall see in this programme, 20 years ago Britain still produced a substantial amount of deep-mined coal. Today, the bulk of our coal is imported. For many rail fans, today's rail scene is somewhat bland. So sit back and enjoy a time when there was plenty of variety in both motive power and routes. By the start of 1991, 